What's going on guys, your boy Turbite Reacts here and we are back to our squad with another Cold Geass reaction. We are up to episode 9 to start this off. So we're just gonna jump right in man. The last episode you guys saw how, I mean, this guy is just, Lelouch is just on another level when it comes on to intelligence man. He's just on another level. Like, and the person who's writing his character has to be up there in IQ. It has to be. Because, I mean, just the oak, the stuff that you will never think of. It's just like the the um finding the loopholes within saying something and not really meaning that n nobody there expected that. And now, guess what? You can't attack because there's a, mi there's a million of them. So you can't attack because you promised that zero would get safe patch it, passage out so now you gotta let all of them go because all of them are zero now so there was a loophole so i'm super excited to jump into these next um three episodes man so let's just get with it man we will review after we will talk after if you want to see my review of the last one go and watch my last um my last upload for um episodes what was it six through eight um so i see you guys for the um for this reaction and we will be back here for the review so go ahead click that link in the description regardless if you're watching it on the google drive or on bitshoot be highly appreciated man thank you guys for watching see you guys for the review All right, what's going on, guys? Your boy Terabyte reacts back to do this review on episodes nine through eleven of R two Kogias. I mean, these three episodes were a lot of things. It is a whole lot of things <laughs> happening. Um, that if you don't break it down, I might go ahead and do a separate review for this because. It was three episodes where I really had to like try to not get too excited about it. Um, but I I was digging everything that was going on. Like you had to pay attention if you wanted to catch all the things that were going on throughout these three episodes. Um, it didn't, I didn't want to miss anything because there were obviously some political stuff that was going on that you wanted to know about. Like, you know finding finding out about the coup you know what i'm saying finding out that his brother Snit, snitzel or snizel is actually smarter than him he's never beaten snizel at chess he's never beaten him at chess he said it's the only person he's um he's never beaten he's the only person ever that he's never beaten at chess which is an interesting thing to know that that means that nice is you know what i'm saying he's smart too um he ended up being a draw because um he was being pushed in the corner until dude um they were interrupted by miss uh, what's her name again nina she's a problem she needs to get over you feel like like for real it's been how long now like, we understand you joining with the Britannians to get your revenge, but to lose your cool in a situation like that is it, just unbecoming. It's just, it's just rude. You know what I'm saying? Um, I understand she had feelings for Yuffie, but she really do need to get over herself. Like, like let's just be honest about it. Like, it's inappropriate at, at this point. It just looks terrible for, on her part. She just looks desperate. You know what I mean? Like, I get it. You want revenge, but this is the second time now you're acting out of pocket could and could get people killed. Like, you need to control yourself. So, that was the situation there. Um, finding out that Snizel is actually um, smarter than Lelouch. Um, man, if he was in... in in the in the position of you know lead of the army or whatever the situation is like 
I, we've never really seen him strategize in a fight. You know what I'm saying? We've never really seen him go up against Lelouch in an actual military battle. So that's yet to be seen. Um, but Zero is just on another level. And then the, the coup, you know what I'm saying? The coup with Zing um, coming in, trying to save the Empress because the Empress is supposed to get married to the first prince, right? The Empress was supposed to marry the first prince because they need to join forces um they were basically the chinese federation was basically selling out you know what i'm saying they were they were selling out because the eunuchs they're the ones in charge so they were basically just selling out because oh they they, they think of the people just like how the britannians think of their people that's the same i mean think of the 11s that's the same way that they think of their own freaking chinese people which is ridiculous right so at first, I was like, why are they doing this? But then it, it was all revealed. And it seems like Zero had, Zero known, have known about this for a very long time. And I don't know if he was test testing them. Seems like that's what he was doing, testing them to see if their true colors would actually show. Right? That's what I'm thinking. Like, that was his true intention to show Zing, like, dude. You planned this coup like he heard about a coup and he was like, I'm going to bring out these people's true colors so he understands that they don't care about you, bro. You know what I'm saying? They want to do this as as a move against us. You know what I mean? Which was, act, which was the actual intention. Like, at the end of the day, they didn't care. It seems like as soon as that marriage happened, they were going to, like, attack the freaking Japanese because they were seeking... They were basically um seeking they were basically refugees for the chinese they were seeking refuge you know on i don't remember the name of the place that they that they settled but um you know getting that background on jing he's sick and i don't know what exactly he said but it, he makes it seem like he doesn't have a lot of time left to live um or he just has a sickness that's not a deadly sickness. He's just he just has a sickness. It seems like a deadly one though, from the way out there portraying it. It seems like he doesn't have a lot of time left to live. Um, but it does act up from time to time. Right? So I don't know what the situation is there, what they're planning to do, but um apparently um that's how they're planning to play it out. So We'll see how that plays out if eventually, right? So, um, the other thing is Kalin got captured, um, and that's not cool. <laughs> that's not cool. Um, I'm glad that he decided to go after her, though, one way or the other. Um, you know, he decided not to abandon and, and run, which is not something I expect of Lelouch at this point in the story. Like, I don't expect that from him. And I think the chemistry between them is getting stronger. Between him and Callan, I think she's she is also trying to understand him um, as Lelouch as much as she understands him as Zero. So, and I, and I think what happened in the last episode, I think it was episode 8, I think that really got to her when he actually tried to kiss her it was like it's something i think she wants a relationship with him and i think she admires him for what he's doing but she didn't want that person the person that tried to kiss her at that point she that's not the person she wants she wants that's why she was asking him why did you come back why did you come back because she didn't expect him to come back you know what i'm saying um so, I'm definitely, I'm kind of leaning towards that relationship a little bit because it, it's a relationship that makes a lot more sense than Suzaku and Yuffie. Yeah, I hate that one. Yeah, that, that relationship, it just was just thrown out there. At least we know the, the chemistry between Lelouch and Callan is real because it's been developed. You get what I'm saying? 
we all understand the reason why Lelouch cannot be with Shirley, but that's going to be another issue now because now, um, what's her name went and kissed her. I'm pretty sure it's kissed. She kissed her, right? I'm pretty sure that's what she did. They didn't show it, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Um, and she wanted to talk about it at the end of the episode, but, um, the, the Knights of the Rounds just decided to show up the two, um, that was there you guys need to tell me if that little one there is is a boy or a girl because they keep referring to her as sir and, and the thing about it is that when when you're a knight i think that when you're a knight and you're a woman you're still referred to as sir is that true <laughs> I, I think so i'm not sure Or is it lady? I don't remember. I really don't remember that. I'm not sure. I think it is still sir. But you you know, you guys are historians. You can let me know if that's how it is. That when you're when you're knighted as a woman, do they still refer to you as sir or is or is it something else? You guys can let me know. Um um, it's not a spoiler, so I can ask you guys for that. It's just to jog my memory because I, I it's so, these are things that I know, but it's just because I haven't referred to them in a very long time. Um, you know, things like that just slipped my mind. I don't remember it correctly. You know, I'm getting old. Yeah, that it happens. <laughs> yeah, but it's crazy how this is playing out. Um, but they still have Callan though. They still have Callan, and, you know, I don't think she's going to be harmed. Um, I think they're going to try to get information out of her, which I, I think she's tough enough to handle whatever it is, unless they use the Gias on her, which is, might cause a bit of a problem. You know what I'm saying? Um, if they use the Gias on her, that, they've basically lost an ally in that retrospect, um, uh, I'm hoping that she doesn't die. I don't want her to die. I don't want her to be executed for anything. Um, so, I mean, things are going on right along. The, the, the story is progressing very, very well at this point. Um, so, it's just these political okie dokes, man. They're, they're so fun. They're so fun to see how Zero just kind of... And I, I like the fact that he called Shirley to find out what he should decide because to him, Shirley knows about, he kind of think of her as his, is, um, is, is moral center. If you want to say that moral center, as in they were in love once. So before he used the Gias on her, so he, kind of will refer to her because you know she still has feelings for him or she's wondering why she feels this way about him. like she can't remember why she fell in love with him because of the she he used the gears on her so little fragments of thing will come back to her every time and time again it's like why am i remembering this i just can't understand why i have pictures of lulu i don't i you know it's just things like that you know so it's very interesting to see those things play out. Um, so it's great, man. It's great. It's great. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. Going forward, I'm looking forward to for more. Thank you guys for watching, as always, man, for spending an hour and a half with me. That is more than I could ever ask for. Thank you guys for watching. And also, leave a like on this video. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of these three episodes, of course. And I will see you guys next time. Terror Squad, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts, and peace.